Welcome to Brawlhalla. And as we are getting into round number one, one thing that a Blaze guy um, was able to put out, put out, pull out a lot was uh, movement speed. One thing that a Blaze guy used to really try to counter uh, Sandstorm in BCX was to really try to pick up the movement speed and make himself as hard to hit as possible. And I think we're already seeing that a little bit uh, come to live. And also Balloon Boy also never being afraid to step up to plate. You can already see Blue Boy is actually already starting to get some stage control. Blaze guy on the Sentinel as opposed to the Yumiko that we might have all been expecting and is yet to have landed a hit. But I can feel that ending in the soon future. But that's not if Balloon Boy doesn't just keep on the uh, the, the on barrage of attacks that are coming at him right now and as right now a blaze guy might be trying to throw for hammer maybe the katars weren't just quite it maybe these sigs on central are exactly what he needs and there we go the hammer coming out and exactly just like you said those sigs coming out are going to be maybe exactly what he needs to try to bring this to an even game and it's already getting much closer to an even game as he's starting to regain some stage control against these katars this hammer is looking very good for him so far yeah, absolutely. Right now, Blaze Guys' hammer is countering Balloon Boy's bow and guitars. We do see Balloon Boy swap over to those guitars not too long ago. Um, but Blaze Guy gets ground pounded by Balloon Boy's guitar ground pound, but swaps Ooh. over to the bow and both players off that ledge. And Blaze Guy with the hammer side air knockout across the map as we get into a minute into this round. Right now, Blaze Guy with a little bit of a lead. He's trying to troll Balloon Boy a little bit. He's reading the knockout options that Balloon Boy is really throwing at them at this point in time. I mean, Balloon Boy is trying to throw these signatures out. A Blaze Guy spot dodging them, encountering them significantly hard. We do see Balloon Boy go into the yellow. We also see them with that bow. We might see a knockout option come from them a little bit more going forward. But Balloon Boy with that bow two piece and a Blaze Guy will go ahead and get knocked out of the first stock, making this two stocks all in. And I'm very surprised of how well a Blaze Guy is just controlling Balloon Boy right now. Yeah, that's definitely a very big surprise because of all the control that Balloon Boy had to start off. It was really just kind of the Katars that slowed a Blaze Guy down a little bit. And it was actually, I'm pretty sure, on the Katars when Balloon Boy was able to find the KO on a Blaze Guy. So the fact that they're able to pick up Hammer, uh, the same Hammer that's, you know, on Yumiko, and able to do some cleaning with that is very exciting to see. But the end sig into this side sig into another oh! GC side sig is equally exciting to see. Just barely making it back to the stage. Balloon Boy proving why this Ember was a good pick. You see the black color scheme definitely proving uh, a whole world amount of practice that he has on that. And also, you can definitely tell a Blaze Guy has a little bit of practice with uh, hitting that D sig. That's going to take Balloon Boy down to that last stock as we have a perfectly even game, but that's not before Balloon Boy is able to get some uh, damage points on the uh, on the board. And this bow from Balloon Boy that's carrying over from the Diana is looking mighty clean right now as that ends up being a clean final stock of this game. A Blaze Guy is still sticking on the center but I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing a map change yeah absolutely it's Demon Island it has a very much a high ceiling but they oh. were able to they let the map be chosen by a balloon boy and you know balloon boy is gonna to want to go back down there just because of the fact that they were able to get certain things onto a blaze guy into that round so and keep in mind this is best of the five so I think a blaze guy's like all right let's see how it goes let's see if I can change things around if I can't we can go to a different map or a different character later. But as we go and get into round, one, round two here, we got Balloon Boy with those guitars, a Blaze Guy also with guitars as well. So who's going to be the, the primary guitar player in this round? We'll have to see. But right now, a lot of nares are coming out. A lot of satellite downlights are coming out as well. There we go. Trying to go for this ground pound knock. That's Blaze Guy with the down signature there with setting the guitars. Tries to do it again. But I mean, a lot of back and forth by these players. But overall, I mean, a lot of really good gameplay back and forth. Yeah, it was definitely very back and forth when they both had Katars, but now that a Blaze guy's been unarmed, uh, it's not really as back and forth as it was slightly leaning in Balloon Boy's attention, but now as we see a Blaze guy picking up hammer that's going to quickly sway it it's um it's a little hard to see exactly what a blaze guy is going for with the katars you can definitely tell that he's done the math in the head he's keeping up space he's stepping up to bait he's he's stepping up to play he's stepping up to bat very nicely but it's still it's not quite as fast as the hammer so it's uh we're just gonna have to wait in a little bit longer to see what exactly is planning with that balloon by reading the recovery quite nicely trying to cover the uh, cover the high recovery and it ends up being the gc breakdance taking a blaze guy down to second stock as right now blaze guy is also finally able to pick up hammer so we're gonna see how well that goes into uh balloon boys katars which have really been on fire lately so that's gonna uh, that's gonna be a pretty big task to step up to right now and 
Blaze Guy's gonna really have to try to find a way to manage because it seems Balloon Boy has a very nice download on a Blaze right now. Well, yeah, and I, I think a Blaze Guy has more so of a different playstyle a lot of the times, but Balloon Boy is being so aggressive. A Blaze Guy's playstyle is, they're very, it's very hard to, for them to play that certain playstyle that we know them for. However, they are starting to counter back very, very well um, when it comes down to fighting that aggression. But right now, it's an even matchup. And Blaze Guy needs to get some type of advantage over Balloon Boy. And that might just be a little bit more, like, being a little bit more patient against Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy is throwing out these signatures that a Blaze Guy is countering almost every single time. If Blaze Guy can bait one of those signature knockouts, then I think that would be a good option for them to go ahead and punish Balloon Boy. There we go. Blaze Guy coming in with that Hammer Dare knockout onto Balloon Boy's second stock. And a Blaze, Blaze Guy has a little bit of a lead but you gotta consider this bloom boy brought it back last round into their favor at the very end it was very very even and then bloom boy popped off with whatever weapon that they had last round so blaze guy really needs to start keeping an eye out for bloom boys pop-offs especially at the end of each round bloom boy tends to We'll pretty much pop off towards the end or pop off in the very beginning with these zero death style knockouts So we'll have to see we're getting into the three minute mark balloon boy is now in the orange Balloon boy is going in for these little light attacks here and there blaze guy with a phenomenal hammer signature read and right now Blaze guy has a one stock lead that side Ooh. signature knockout comes in clutch and a blaze guy will go ahead and get point number two to their name If you had any doubts before I would probably get rid of them as right now. These, uh, this Sentinel is looking pretty good uh, from a Blaze guy, and they are not going to any other map. It is still Demon Island. What's the set is 1-1. One, one. It's pretty understandable to see how both players might be a little reluctant to change things because they're just trying to have a repeat of the game that they won. And sometimes taking that risk, risks can be fun, but... I mean, there are risks for a reason, and sometimes you don't really know if you want to make that risk, especially when you're this evenly matched. The fact that it's 1-1, but a Blaze oh. guy is so oh. opening welcome arms to risk, and so are Balloon Boys. We have a lot of hammer recoveries and a lot of ground pounds coming out. That clash, removing Balloon Boys recovery, but he's just be able to make his way back on stage until some more coming out from a Blaze guy to try to make sure the Balloon does not come back on stage and ends up being a Balloon getting reversal, trying to have a repeat of that last game with that GC side sig, and also a Blaze guy choosing to switch with Katars. A really interesting choice considering everything we've seen him do on Hammer, but he is destined to prove himself on these Katars and prove himself on these Katars as he will. Because right now, the, God, these daggers are just incredulous, improving every single second. This is actually just what I was saying earlier. A Blaze guy, what he does is that he just makes himself harder and harder to hit. He just changes, um, he changes his movement, his movement speed. He's got a bunch of different types of footwork he can switch back and uh, forth in between, and we can see that a Blaze guy's ability to adjust, see uh, what kind of attacks you're hitting, and be able to say, okay, do I gotta slow down? Do I gotta speed up? And that is exactly what a Blaze guy's doing right here. And also, Balloon Boy doesn't have as much of a punish. He is able to get that uh, that end sig to bring him down to that second stock. But some of these reads aren't connecting as much. A Blaze guy's having a little bit of difficulty with these reads, so we're gonna have to be a little bit patient to finally see them get real. But um, the fact that that a blaze has been able to adjust in so many different ways and that balloon boy doesn't really have as good of a read compared to the first few games this is looking pretty good i think right now blaze guy was able to take that first round in more so of learning balloon boy's play style oh and that shows a little bit there phenomenal oh. side air yeah. knockout to go ahead and counter uh what balloon boy was throwing out them trying to knock him out of that second stock but um this is totally different than what it was in round two and as I say that, Blaze Guy is trying to make things even just like in rounds here around these stocks. But Balloon Boy did very much pop off in the beginning of this round. And Blaze Guy is starting to come back. And you can see Balloon Boy is trying to bait different attacks from a Blaze Guy, like that side light and so on and so forth. But a Blaze Guy is going to go and counter that signature by Balloon Boy, get that phenomenal three-piece combo, and try to knock out a Blaze oh, Guy. No. But it looks like they're trying to they're trying to clip a Blaze Guy with that weapon's the recovery into a dare but they were unable to land it and they did not have any more jumps and right now a blaze guy has that little bit of a lead that we're used to seeing them but balloon boy is trying to make quick work of it and they are able to go and do that and make things one stock all now it comes down to this will balloon boy pop off and beat a blaze guy for round three for this current round um to take a little bit of a lead in his best out of five matchup or 
is a blaze guy going to go ahead and take that this is going to be a very this is a very big deal in this set whoever takes this round has the advantage going into round four they're the most comfortable and no one wants to win two sets in a row to win a set and the game speed slowing down it's a little hard to tell who that's in favor of because of how even this game was maybe this game itself uh just this this specific game was slightly in a blaze guy's favor and maybe slowing the game down is in balloon boy's favor so it's a little hard to tell but still balloon boy is always able to reclaim a little bit of space that's the thing sometimes when people get uh sometimes people are un uh they're unable to be trapped and they always find themselves out of space sometimes people are able to just when you give them an inch you they take a mile but balloon boy they just he always has a little bit of space and that end is going to send a blaze guy quite, quite across some space and that's going to show how damaged he is is right now against an unarmed balloon boy a blaze guy's gonna have to really try to find the um the ko and right now this comes down to the wires we have katars versus katars right now both just trying to throw in any cigarette attack that would work and a blaze guy goes up on the set and right now um if i was balloon boy i would be pretty worried because at first this was um this was looking so good in balloon boy's favor but now that a blaze has won the last two games mm -hmm. and we're even going back to the exact same setup as before balloon boy is gonna have to pull something pretty drastic uh out of the sleeves of his to be able to bring this to a game five yeah 100 i agree and i'm surprised balloon boy didn't really change anything up whether it be the map or whatever else i think they feel very comfortable on this map because of the signatures that they have with ember on um, the bow signatures and, and so on and so forth and even the guitars ground pounds and, and so on and so forth so We'll have to see if Blaze Guy is really edge guarding Balloon Boy very, very hard in the beginning of this round. But so far, I mean, Blaze Guy is trying to go ahead and do a guitar matchup against Balloon Boy. But Balloon Boy, every time they have done it, has gotten a little bit more of a lead over a Blaze Guy. So Blaze Guy has to be very, very careful with this pick. Nice little Derek coming out, misses that side. I guess that recovery instead. But a lot of back and forth going into the 42nd mark of this round. Blaze guy tries to do a three piece combo in there. Oh, that was phenomenal. He didn't do a weapon throw and a side singer. <laughs> Blaze guy going crazy. Oh my god. And Balloon Boy will go ahead and go down to that second stock. But the weapon throws into weapon pickup Nair? Holy crap. <laughs> A Blaze is really picking up pace right now, and the amount of uh, adjustments that we're going to have to see coming up from Balloon Boy is actually starting to kind of get real right now, as um, Balloon Boy's uh, options are really starting to drastically change. You can see Balloon Boy going some pretty drastic uh, uh, different attacks and some different approaches, and also a little bit of fakes and baits. So that, maybe those might, co uh, those, maybe those might catch a Blaze guy uh, off guard a little bit. And also, you can see some of these reads almost starting to come through with a Blaze, and they're also so, so close. Uh, to connecting for balloon, but that uh, that recovery is going to connect for a balloon. A blaze guy, like I said, is getting very very close to these reeds. So although it might be taking them a little bit of while in order for them to be solid enough, or maybe that's just uh, Balloon Boy's ability to uh, develop as the set goes on and making sure that even if you think you're about to get the read, you actually don't. A blaze has been so 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 close to the read this entire time, but has just never really completely gotten it. That dare was almost just about to be it and just like i said balloon boy's approach to this the different attacks that he's using is looking very different that weapon throw oh and unfortunately he's unable to recatch the weapon throw and the end is going to send him down that last stock as uh here we are a blaze guy <laughs> not called a blaze for nothing is looking on fire right now and is looking to bring this home after winning, potentially winning three games in a row, but now that Balloon Boy is picking up Bo, something that feels all too comfortable in his hands. This could be the oh. end of a Blaze Guy's momentum. This could be the end of the streak, but, oh, maybe it is not. A Blaze Guy just always knows where to place the hammer hits, just always knows where to place those nares. Absolutely, and, and if we were going into the beginning of this round number four, it looked like Balloon Boy was really controlling that platform, but as this round has kind of gone on, it looks like a Blaze guy has been starting to really control it, but now we see a Blaze guy with guitars. Guitars, originally, a Blaze guy was having a difficult time 
using, but now with Balloon Boy on that bow, this might be the opportunity that they've been waiting for. Down signature misses. That side air, side air lands due to the recovery frames on that signature. A blaze guy with that platform control, that edge guard, not hitting that neutral light on to Balloon Boy, picks up that hammer and says, you know what? Let's try something here a little bit. Let's see if we can get you with the nair thing. You know what? <gasps> no, Balloon Boy with the offense down signature might have this knockout on a Blaze Guy. Both players have a guitar, so Blaze Guy knows how he needs to counter Balloon Boy, and they know that Balloon Boy's guitars have a lot more priority than theirs at this point in time. But even with that, a Blaze Guy coming in with that falling side air knockout, knocking out Balloon Boy's <laughs> final stock and taking this set three and one and advancing further in the bracket. That was fantastic.